What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back on top of the dumpsters in Vault 108. This is the Snail Vault. Gary! Yeah, it's the Vault 108 jumpsuit. Melee weapons and speech, just like all the other Vault jumpsuits. No particularly special loot there. Let's see, anything else going on in this room? Man, this place is desolate. And I don't think we're not, we're not meant to be finding any special journals or log entries, so... It's not that I'm missing it all, it just really is that there's not a whole lot going on in this vault so far. Hmm. Why would the female dorm be here in the cloning labs rather than in the living quarters? Very strange. I should try exploring a vault using the left hand rule at some point. That would be an interesting experiment to see if it actually works for vaults. The left hand rule is the, a way to get through a maze. You just keep your hand on the left wall at all times. Never let go. And it will eventually get you out of any maze as long as that maze does not have an interior cycle upon which you start. So basically it's... Yeah, it works for mazes that don't have cycles in them. Which is most mazes that people create. You want to put a cycle in a maze, it's likely on purpose. Get him! Get him, dog meat! Alright, I'll just finish him from here. I'm sure it's dark in here. I love that they all say the exact same thing. No! Gary! Gary 25 is here. Gary... oh good lord. 47. Oh, here's the rest of Gary 47. Go get him, boy. I'm gonna explore this room over here. Yeah, we had a toolbox on the way in. A wastelander. What are they doing to this guy? Hmm. I'll take his mentats. Nothing much happening here. Some surgical tubing. Uh, more junk. Did you get him, dog meat? You got one of them. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm like pulling the trigger. Like, why am I not shooting this guy? All right. Let's see. <laughs> I have two of these, huh? Did not know. Yeah, hell, I got a bunch of laser pistol ammo. Oh, okay. I guess let's just let dog meat fight him. Here's Gary 17 over here. Yeah, as you can see, these guys are not very threatening. Dog meat's basically taking care of them for us. Of course, he gets a bit overpowered for a dog. He's pretty nasty. Might as well put this away. It's just taking up half the screen, and I'm not going to use it. Hmm. Another area out of there, perhaps the female dorm or something. That's, that seems to be adjacent to here. Ah, oh, there's more beds and things. These vaults are just nasty. Lying congressional style. I'll take it. Thank you very, very much. Ah! Look at what I found! It is the bobblehead. Oh, charisma. Hmm. I was expecting a different one for some reason. What is my charisma? It's not nine. No, oh, it's only five. Oh, that sucks. What do I do then? Because if I... Shoot. Well darn, I should have planned this better. Balls! Alright, well here is the location for the charisma bobblehead, so we'll, we'll need to make a note of this. Because at some point we're going to want to return here and get it. I don't want to take it now because I'm eventually going to take that perk at level 28 or whatever it was that makes all your stats jump up to 9. And then I'm going to go around and take the bobbleheads for the special stats to push them all to 10. So we'll return for that charisma bobblehead eventually. We're going to make a note of that. that Vault 108, Cloning Labs, Charisma. The vault will already be cleared. There won't be enemies that will respawn in it. It'll just be a matter of coming to pick it up and I'll show it on video. But, uh, man, that was the big reason I wanted to do this vault. I didn't realize that. Is that exper exploding gas? Uh, Not exploding uh, gas. Okay. Oh, Gary won! Is this the original? Man. Yeah, he had a gun. <laughs> Must be the original. He over-encumbered me. That sucks. I don't know, maybe I should take a look at... What am I doing? Where's my items? Uh, I don't need his pistol. Hmm, a toilet. You know, a toiletella. Uh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm remarkably uh, comfortable in this vault. After the other one, after Vault 106, this one doesn't really scare me much. So, yeah, I'm actually not expecting to find too much. Ah, cloning log. Hey, that could be nice to <laughs> listen to. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a text log, okay. Corruption detected, attempt partial recovery. Gary 53 is hostile towards all non-clones, but was something case. Previous 52 attempts. We may have to consider a means of disposal of the pre-existing Gary clones. Observation rooms are getting quite full. 54 exhibits no change in hostility toward non-clones. If anything, he is even more hostile. Dr. Peterson can attest to this, having been injured while examining Gary 54. Tomorrow we are going to dispose of several of the Gary clones. We need to make room for more attempts. Oh, it looks like the clones didn't like being disposed of. And this vault sort of continued from there. I'll take all this stuff, actually, even though I can't carry it. I need to just start dropping things that aren't aren't important for me. Why do I have a Vault 106 jumpsuit? I don't know. Maybe I was planning on taking one from each vault or something, but eh, forget that. I could repair a couple of these together, couldn't I? There we go. That should put me below encumbrance. Alrighty then. Let's see. Yeah, the bottom of my screen's doing that weird thing again. Oh, female dorm is blocked off. Okay. Does that mean we've explored the whole vault? Let's take a look. Living quarters. We already went through those. Oh, there's a dark area back there I missed. Maybe it's just a corner that I didn't walk into all the way. Sometimes that happens on these areas. Didn't go in here, apparently. Maybe I went in the other door. Yeah, I could have. There's not really anything in here. Hopefully not missing any loot or anything. I'm recording all these at once. Let's see. All the way down at the end of this hallway, huh? Guess we can always go see what's down there. I feel like we've been through here. Maybe we haven't. Huh. I would have at least opened these doors to check for loot. Steam gauge assembly? Hmm. Nothing else. In here we have another toiletella. Burned books. Plates. Yeah. The loot is sort of mediocre. This vault's really only worth visiting if you're going to come get the bobblehead. Oh, and it is kind of neat to see it, actually, just to get some more vault lore. Oh, back up we go. Where is this taking us? Hmm. Some more rooms. More bedrooms, sized rooms. Sort of all the same shape and style, aren't they? Got a stim pack out of it. Makes it worth it, I guess. Are any of these books still books? I don't think so. They're all large and medium scorched books. Whatever. The door here. So why is it so well lit in here? I don't know why it makes me suspect a trap, but it's sort of the opposite, right? Like, wouldn't you want the room with a trap in it to be dark so that your prey couldn't see the trap? Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Ah, this goes back to the entrance. I thought we went... Okay, we're coming back out of the cloning lab, so we should be at the end of that hall. Right, alright. I guess this is sort of a small vault. Just the entrance, the cloning labs, and the living quarters. That's it. So the exits... Wait, what is this? Okay, that's the living quarters. That's what I thought. Yeah, so the exit's out here. Alrighty, then. Uh, not, yeah, not the most dangerous vault. Gary's are all pretty weak. I think that the, uh... We haven't really had any nasty vaults yet, have we? I suppose that there are more to come. Exploring vaults is one of the best past times of the capital wasteland. We used to play baseball. No, now we go looting. So much more fun. So let's see, let's see. What, what else should I do for the rest of this video? So we've got all kinds of stuff we could do. Huh... Christmas only at five, man. Yeah, we already got the agility bobblehead because it broke our agility from nine to ten. And I think we didn't get the intelligence one, did we? The intelligence bobblehead. I don't know where it is. 
No, the intelligence bobblehead was on, um, Dr. Lee's desk. The medicine was on Dad's desk. Maybe, maybe we should go back to Megaton. We, we did pick up a bobblehead in the previous episodes, back when we were in Vault 106 with the hallucinogens. We picked up the science bobblehead in there? Not sure. One way or the other, we can go look at our bobbleheads collected area. Wait, okay. For a second, I thought we'd spawn right in front of the house, which would be kind of nice. But actually, the house is right over here, so it's still fairly convenient. Let's head on inside. Where's my Waldsmith? Waldsworth Butler. Waldsworth Butler? Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Good evening, Waldsworth. I'd like something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. And he gives you water. That's it. Tell me a joke, Wadsworth. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Ha ha ha, that's not a joke, that's a political statement. I should go. If there's anything you require further, feel free to ask, sir. Of course. Yes, over here we have my first infirmary. So we can use to heal ourselves and restore damaged limbs, and remove all our rats, and do nothing! All for free. Very nice, I know. Let's hop down here to activate our bubblehead collector stand. Oh, with the addition of science. I was right. Okay. Now, had we found charisma, it would go... We did find charisma, so it should be right there. I don't know. I'm a little bit on the fence here. I might want to look up again what perks are available at the end of the game to see whether it's, whether it's really worth it for me to wait and get uh, that one particular perk that raises all your stats because it raises all your stats <laughs> it raises your all of your uh, it, it takes all your special attributes and if they aren't already 9 or higher it moves them up to 9 that's what it does so I was thinking of taking that at level 28 or whatever it is or 29 I can't remember it's right, it was right at the very end basically get out of here dog meat you're just like a real dog you're always in the way Standing in the freaking hall. Dog, move! Move! Ugh, oh, there's no way to command him to go sit somewhere either. I would just tell him to move. God, it's worse than the dogs in Minecraft. Anyway, got any, got any food in here? No, our refrigerator's empty. Could fill it with ammo, I suppose. Ah, <sighs> alright. Let's see, let's see. What else is there to do in Megaton? Not a whole lot. I suppose we could pay a visit to that crazy religious bigot guy that we talked to several videos ago. That was a while back. I forget the guy's name now. He's the one who stands down here and sit, stands in the radioactive water all day and shouts about how atomic destruction is great. Here he is. It is so good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. Yeah, so this was the guy who told me all about the ridiculous, all the crazy stuff that he thinks. Yes, what would you like to know? Let's see. What the hell is wrong with you people? I think that's about how far we got last time. Even knowing the truth, you continue to mock us. Oh, yes. It's going to get a lot worse than that. No, now here's the real, here's the so real crux of it, too. Check this out. Do you accept donations? Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Nothing. Very well. Walk in the glow. Hmm. Let's see what that pamphlet he gave us says. Where does the pamphlet go? Under notes. Adam presents you a chance for redemption. The Church of the Children of Adam offers you a chance to participate in keeping the Adam's sacred city of Megaton. Hmm. We accept currency, which shall be used to keep this holy place as pure and safe as possible. Hmm. Right, so basically he wants to ensure that the radioactive bomb in the middle of town remains exactly where it is. If you remember, we disarmed it. Yeah. Back in the day. And Sheriff Sims was rather happy with us. On top of our 100 caps reward, I think it was, we also received our house. If you've forgotten, if you've forgotten that's how we did uh, get the house in the first place. But, uh, 
Bomb is still sort of a worry if the children of Adam, these crazy, crazy people, were to get their hands into it and messing with it. So here we'll find Mother Maya, who is Cronwell's wife. Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the Adam and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of Adam, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So, welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. Hmm. Tell me about your church. For those answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. Yes, you see that she is his wife. Ah, uh, yeah, I have to go now. Adam's light be with you, sweet child. Well, these people are pretty freaking crazy. Uh, there's actually... Uh... I don't know, I, I have beef with these characters because of stuff that happened in other playthroughs. So I guess it's sort of out of character for me to have a beef with them, with this character, but... Oh, someday, someday we shall return. Let's see, what else is there to do when we are visiting here in Megaton? Oh, you know, we got a... some kind of combination or something, I think, from a little girl. Maggie told us about her adopted father's drug stash. We told us the combination, I think, to the safe. Now i got to figure out where he lives. Hmm. That's... where is Shaq? What am I doing? I think he lives right up here, but I'm not sure. This is the water processing plant. I thought he lived in the back half or something. Maybe I'm crazy. Does that make me crazy? Hey, Walter, I got scrap metal for you. Huh? Yeah. Let's see. Take all that I have. No charge. I just want to help. Are you serious? Why, I'll be. Thank you, stranger. You're welcome. I should go. So I think he lives back here, right? Yeah, here we go. Look at this. Where is... Is there a safe or anything back here? Or is this just... His. This might just be... With that and we're Walter's have a place. Yeah, okay, where the heck does, uh... What's that guy's name? Man. It's gonna be hard for me to find his house if I can't remember what his name is. Let's look at our map. Lucas Sims. Megaton. Armory. Moriarty's. Billy Creel. That's him. Mr. Burke has a house here, too, huh? Let's go f try and find which one of those is Billy Creel's. Actually, we probably want to go up, don't we? Go around the outside here. Actually, that was the same path. I just went around to the right. Way to go, Poncho. Way to go. It's up here that I was thinking you go up. Go above some other buildings. Bit of Creel's house. Yeah, here's the men's room. Gosh, do you guys remember on all that? I had this one sketch I think was called the, the girl's room or something like that. Wasn't that, wasn't that not just the weirdest thing? Ah, uh, Billy, here's Billy Creel's house. <laughs> Let's see. There's Billy the drug addict. I think we actually got some of uh, some drugs from him at some point, didn't we? I think he he might have been the one who gave us the Mentats that we used to disarm Megaton's bomb. I know it's possible to do it that way, at least. Oh, what's this? Guardians of Gillyfrond. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this before. Whatever shall we do, Mr. Wallingsworth? Molly asked. Oh, that's a woman's voice. <clears throat> Whatever shall we do, Mr. Wallingsworth? Molly asked. Mother and I... Mother will be home shortly, and I've yet to clean my room! Uh, who's talking now? Mr. Wallingsworth, okay. Heavens my, heavens me, don't fret, Molly Gully. We'll enlist a little help, that's all. Mr. Wallingsworth then waddled his little teddy bear body into the center of the room and called out, in a voice both sweet and strong, to those lying dormant on the shelves, in the toy box, under the bed. Come now, Molly Golly needs our help. And as we're her guardians, that means all get we all get cracking. Come on now, shake off those dust bunnies and hop too. Then there rose a rustle and rumble from all the corners of the room, as rocking horse and railway chair, bookend and baby doll, toy and game alike, all blossomed into impossible life. Oh, Mr. Wallingsworth, but I never knew I... What the fuck? I can't read this shit! Ah, oh, the text is too small. I keep skipping words. 
This is so hard to read. Oh, why couldn't they have made it larger? Mr. Wellingsworth, bottom of nothing about making no babies. <laughs> Miss Molly exclaimed. Babies? <laughs> babies? Bah! I was just having a nice nap. I wake up, you're climbing all over me. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Oh, Mousy, you're alive! Molly ran over to her bed and embraced the nonplussed plushie. The nonplussed plushie. The nonplussed plushie. That is the best expression. Uh, Molly released her hold and dropped Mousy back under the bed, feeling at once excited and immensely disappointed that her favorite stuffed toy had come to life and seemed to be a complete cretin. Okay. <laughs> oh, I kind of lost the feel for that story. Oh, there's a teddy bear here, too. That's kind of creepy. Where's the safe full of drugs? Seriously. That's why we're here. Do we do we get a note about the safe from what's her name? We used our child at Herc child at Herc or child at Herc Pert to get it. What the hell? Yeah, that's Maggie. That's when we asked. Alright. Maybe it's back here at the beginning. Alright. Um something about Billy's safe combination. Da, 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 da. No, nah, it would it would have been before all this stuff. Okay, I don't know. Where could it be hiding? Probably missing it. It's probably sitting out in the middle of a room or something. Like, tables on top of it. That's why I don't see it. What the heck, though? It's very strange. Oh, what's this? Song of the Lightman. Detected. I really want to steal this. Can y'all go somewhere else? Hmm. <laughs> that last story was a little bit weird. I don't know about you guys, but... That was sort of not what I expected from a children's tale. Which apparently is what it's supposed to be. Okay, seriously, where is the safe that I'm just not seeing? Okay, well here's a here's something that you can do. And if you've got an item that you want to steal but you can't steal it because everybody's around, what you can do is drop one of your items. So let's find something I can use to move something around. Let's drop lab uniform. So now we're going to take the lab uniform and we're going to use it... Ah, oh, dang it. Come here, you. Mm. What you want to do is you have to push other items. Oh, they're going to come sit right next to this thing? Jesus. They're going to make this impossible for me, aren't they? What you can do is... Uh, you can knock shit around. Oh, okay. You don't have to hold down the button. Well, the lab uniform apparently is too large. I can't get it in there to turn around and knock the thing off of there. How about a pistol? Let's try the laser pistol. Uh, there doesn't seem to be collisions. Oh, come on. Whoa, uh. It's not working. This works in Oblivion. What the heck? Does this work at all in this game? Let me try it with the table stuff. Yeah, you see, look, I can knock these bottles around. Why can't I move that audio log right there? But basically what you can do is, like, for example, if I wanted to steal... Oh, it's like stuck. I take the laser pistol and push it against it, and it's, it won't move. Apparently I'm not supposed to be able to move it. But as you can see, you can kick around things, like these bottles, and you can use an item to push them around. And you can move it until you get it somewhere where you can be undetected. And you can steal it from there. Ha <laughs> Harden Sims. Who names their kid Harden? Yeesh. Seriously though, where's this safe that I'm not seeing? Let me turn my light on. What is this? Ah, there it is. Hidden underneath the traffic cone. You guys are all kind of standing around here. It's a little bit awkward for me. Let's make it nighttime so maybe they'll go to bed or something. Or at least wander off. Go somewhere else. Billy will go out looking for his next drug fix. That's the plan here. Just sort of tying up loose ends while we're have some extra time in this video. Go away, Harden. No, seriously, go away. I'm going to hide in this corner. Oh, I'm hidden. Can I reach the safe? I can. Um, something tells me this isn't really going to work. It says I'm hidden. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I got a gun, some money. Eh, not a whole lot. I'll take it. Right, bye, guys. Thanks for the stuff. Oh, you he's freaking out. Of here if you know what's good for you. How did you even see me? I was hidden. Hey, man, what's going on? Nothing much. I better get out of here if I know what's good for me. Later, Gator. Ugh. Oh, please. Alright. Uh, I think that's all of the wasting time I'm going to do in this video. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, we will... 
Uh, I don't know. I gotta take another look at what perks are what, and it might, it might be worth it just to go back and grab that charisma bobblehead. Give me a second to let me uh, look at that stuff. <laughs> okay, I think I've made my decision here. Uh, I'm looking at the two perks that you can take at level 30 in Fallout 3. The first is nuclear anom <laughs> nuclear. The first is nuclear anomaly, and the second is almost perfect. Nuclear anomaly. Uh, its effect is that whenever your health is reduced to 20 or less, you explode in a devastating nuclear explosion, damaging your armor, your health, and enemies and allies nearby. Essentially, apparently there's a bug where if you're playing on the Xbox version and you're playing on normal or higher difficulty, you can possibly just die when the explosion happens. So, apparently a really horrible perk to take. And the other one is almost perfect, which is the one I was thinking of taking. It raises all your special stats to 9. So, pretty much, um... I was right in not taking the, the bobblehead. We're going to have to come back for it at the very, very end. But, that is, a uh, it is there, where it is. There's actually, the strength bobblehead is actually in Lucas Sims' house, too, so it's easy to find as well. We'll, we'll probably have a, a video where I go around and snap up all of those at the end, but I've been wanting to get all the skill ones uh, relatively soon. We've only got three, which means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more to pick up. So, I'll probably be going to, getting, to get those eventually. Uh, sometime soon, I think, actually. That's, that's what I've been doing in the past few videos, is going to different vaults, trying to find the bobbleheads and things. I guess we'll find some next, some more skills next. Do you guys have any uh, suggestions of which buff skill bobblehead to look for next? I'm just always curious to find out. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to end the video here. Thanks so much. Shut up, Wadsworth! Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let's play Fallout 3. Gary, 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 Gary! Ah!